Happy 2024, everyone. Hope you guys had a great last year, and I hope your new year is starting off well. I meant to make this video on day one, but between the New Year's Eve festivities and then also just getting the business back in order, this had to take a little bit of a back seat. But rest assured, this year is going to be a fun one. Uh, there's a few things, a few little resolutions I have for myself for the YouTube channel this year. First off being, I would like to do some video essays again. I only kind of did sit downs last year, and there's a few that I have scripts for that I would actually like to make into something. Uh, my goal is one, first off. Um, it's a horror-related one, and then eventually I'm going to hopefully make another and another and another. That would be the the grand goal. The second thing is to have Supernatural, at least the episodes, review done by the end of March. Uh, as long as I keep to the schedule, I should be done all of season eight by the middle of April. Uh, the next thing would be I'm probably going to do a little change to the Patreon system. I will admit I haven't done as well of a job on that as I have. I got the things for it and then I asked if you guys wanted to keep supporting me. You did. I've really appreciated that, but I feel maybe I'm just going to make it a little bit less from now on. I'm going to do some changes probably by the end of the month, so I'll be making notes about that. Patreon subscribers, thank you for everything you guys have done, but I know that things are hard for people right now, and even if you're only giving five dollars, that's still a lot in the grand scheme of things, so I'm going to probably alter it a little bit um, might make it just all one tier so we'll see how that goes but I just kind of wanted to put that out to you guys I understand that things are hard um, doing the uh, the financial uh, breakdown for my business la last year I almost wept when I saw how much gas I had to pay for for a side note when I was working in film I had a gas card so I didn't really pay gas for 2021 and 2022 outside of personal endeavors the first time I've actually had to pay for all my gas a year and my god the summer just murdered me I want to talk about my most anticipated movies I'll do a separate video talking about that but there are a few that I am quite excited for obviously Dune part two. Really, I just wanted to say thank you guys for last year. That's the main point of this video. I wanted to say thank you to everyone who watched, viewed, subscribed, shared, liked. I was always amazed when I'd get updates about how many people had um, shared a video. I used to do that originally, but then I was like, you know what, I'll just, I'll share every so often one. There was a lot of shares throughout months, and I was always surprised. I'm like, who's sharing this? But I'm, I'm very appreciative for it. Appreciative for the comments, appreciative for the likes, appreciative for the views. Uh, we're almost at 2 million for the channel, which is crazy. I am very surprised by that, considering it took 12 years to hit the first, no, 12, 14 years. And we're going to get to 2 in less than half, I think almost a quarter of that time. One of the big videos last year was my Telltale's The Walking Dead conclusion overview video and that is almost at a hundred thousand views an essay that i made prior to covid has just kept on doing this every time there's a new walking dead thing i think when walking dead ended it went up i think when the comic for clementine got announced it went up i think when walking dead destinies came out it went up <laughs> that video was almost at a hundred thousand views and that will probably be the most modern video I've made that's reached that number and I'll be very very happy with that. There are a few things that I should note. Uh, something I have realized that I'm going to run into with an issue with filming season 9 is that I'm gone for almost a whole month in September. My wife and I are going back to the UK. We're going to redo our uh, road trip of Scotland but uh, doubling it. And then we're also going to go to Ireland. Um, so for a lot of September, I will be gone. So that means that for the month of August, that I will be working uber duber, uber overtime on any projects that I have with my business because I'll want to get those done um, or to as close to completion as I can before I jet off to another country for three weeks. So I do have a little plan about maybe having a few reviews about different movies on the back burner not just new ones but also maybe some from the past I've already even started like there's a couple that I've reviewed in the end of the year that were just movies that I wanted to watch so I have those reviews on the back burner so maybe those might come out later it'll be really weird you'll see maybe some room differences which speaking of room differences this is something that I'm actually thinking about legitimately um 
the poster walls. I really do like my setup when I l look at it in the camera viewfinder here. But there are a few in front of me here that I'm thinking about maybe getting rid of. I do want to have a little bit more of a professional sense in this room. And then also, I just kind of feel like I want to do a little bit of a change. Uh, I, I've always loved the concept of this wall. But the fact that I don't do it in front of them anymore. Um, half because it is much easier to sit here and do glare and just standing up. And I, I definitely feel it's easier to sit. I'm just basically trying to make a bunch of excuses for being lazy. But yeah, that's kind of a, a few factors that I've got going on. So I'm definitely going to do in the most anticipated movies of 2024 very shortly. I just got to compile that list. There are a few interesting ones that are coming out. Um, I'm also wanting to watch a few movies from last year that I didn't get a chance to. On that note, too, I will be trying to watch more movies this year. I got given an absolute ass ton of gift cards and like little coupons and whatnot um, that I have to use. Some of them are time sensitive. Some of them I have to use by the end of March. So cool. I've got a ton for the, like one of the worst times of the year. However, I'll be able to use a bunch of them for Dune, maybe. But in retrospective, January has slightly dug itself out of the shit month. It's where like surprise horror movies will actually do pretty well. That was Shyamalan's month for almost like the last six years. So in retrospective, we've hopefully got some video essays coming this year, short form, but video essays nonetheless. Supernatural season eight will be completed by April in its entirety. Patreon system is definitely going to get a rework. It's going to become much more simplified and I feel a little bit more respectful to you guys. I, I just want you guys to feel more appreciated. And like I said, I understand how times are right now and you guys don't need to be giving any money or anything more than you have to to me. Um, think about yourselves first and foremost. I absolutely mean that. I hope you guys are all doing well, I know that 2023 was rough for some people financially, uh, mentally. It was a year of up and downs. I thought last year was really, really good as well until I started to do, like I said, the expenses and whatnot. I was like, oh, okay, so running a business is a little bit more difficult than I imagined it would be. I just wanted to say thank you again for everything you guys did for me last year, from the comments to the views to the shares to the likes, everything, even the dislikes. Just engagement in general was really, really cool to see, considering I had admittedly put the channel as a back burner. But here's hoping that we do more this year, more reviews, more essays. I'm really looking forward to when I do come back from my trip. I'm going to try and make a more woo video this time around. Last time it was just like, I've never been there before, so I wanted to kind of just take it in. This time it's going to be a bit more travel-y. But that's enough rambling for me. I'll let you guys have the rest of your day. Like I said, uh, most anticipated movies of 2024 video will be coming soon, as well as a few other reviews, including some that were from the best and the worst list that were not present before I made those videos. Here's to 2024. Let's hope that it's a better one for us all. Let's hope it's a good one. And I hope you guys are doing well first and foremost. Thank you, guys. See you next time.